Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Dwarf Fortress. I went around and looked at, see if I could find this beast, and I think I found him. It's a little bit hard because the English name is here, and the Elvish name was what was being shown in the game. But I, I mean, it's this guy, Yer. Uh, he's a Gila monster. Uh, where Gila monster? It's got to be the guy, right? So uh, it shows his like curse lineage. Um, Looks like uh, there's this human that gave it to a whole bunch of folks, and he is a third generation uh, were beast. And uh, he's had uh, quite the life. He started his life as a uh, monster slayer. He went out to uh, slay monsters and eventually uh, became what he did not want to be. The very first monster he came across was a were beast that attacked him and gave him the curse, and he has just gone on to fight with uh, folks and devouring female dingoes and raccoons and possums. And now they're a horse. Uh, he took out our horse as well. So he's got three kills as well as numerous uh, beast attacks. And uh, yeah, I just I wanted to go and kind of look up. That, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I like this game. It's like any little random guy that is uh, that shows up on your screen. No, he's got a history. Um, he's got things that he's done and uh, and relationships that he has formed. It's not just some random where Gila monster. This guy is a where Gila monster with a story. OK, so we were going to go and um, get this butcher shop up. I want to double check our therapist and make sure that our agriculture folks have butchering set. Um, we've only got one agricultural folk. Um, let's see, you've got some cooking skill. Let's set you as an agricultural as well. And we'll take you off cooking, take you off brewing. And that way, that will do. And it's, let's see, we do have, uh, where's butchering? Butchering, butchering, butchering. Butchering. Yes, okay, you guys have that. So hopefully one of you will get that butcher up. Um, we'll get that horse chopped down. And uh, we need a place to put his bones. Um, let's see, I think that falls under refuse. Uh, we'll just make a little tiny stockpile here. And we will set it up to where... We don't want any of these things. We just want bones. Okay, so hopefully that'll work itself out. All right, uh, so what were we doing before we were attacked by a Weregila monster? Uh, we were... Okay, we were building some office space here. Um, okay, that that's good. Uh, we need... We do have a chair. Let's uh, build a table. Oh, right in the middle. We'll put our Gabbro table here, and we will put a chair here, and a door there. And that will be Chunk's office. And let's go ahead and assign him both the bookkeeper position, as well as the manager position. And they're going to say they require something, and I believe it is uh, an office. So once that gets built, uh, we will give that office to him and um, he can go about his noble duties. So we select the chair for that. Size the room, it's good. And we wanna assign that to Chunk. All right, that is all taken care of now. And we can do work orders and things now. Um, let's see, add a new make blocks you're not making blocks for some reason continue to make blocks please um let's see add a new task let's get some more tables and chairs and uh we'll just let that work um let's go ahead and make a work order for beds and let's say we've got 25 let's do let's do 30 beds get that first work order going all 
All right, and we should have, we've got blocks. Got a couple of blocks. I think I've, the first thing I kind of want to do is kind of set up like a sort of keep area. Well, no, I, I just want to build, I just want to build some blocks is what I want to do. Why isn't this butcher shop being made? Um, think anybody's really, really uh, farming. Okay, we do have somebody farming. Okay, they're farming and making meals. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel that brew order for now. And maybe once the farming is done, they will get up there and start building that. Well, you play in evil biomes and you, you really fear that kind of look, uh, but that that's just the leaves falling from the trees. It's not blood raining from the sky. It's fine. Um, let's see, all of our bedrooms. Okay, we were having the damp stone experience. Just need that right there. And those two to finish off that bedroom. Winter is here. Wait, I don't like that zoom way out there for damp stone thing. Don't like that feature. Hopefully we'll be done with that for a little while. Um, that is all of that taken care of. Don't know what we're going to do with all that Yellowstone. I guess we could dump it. But um, I think first what I want to do is go ahead and dig out this area. As well as this area. I'm going to go ahead and dig these guys out. Just get more limestone, get some more space to store some things. I know on the right hand side we want to want to dedicate that to our um, smelting enterprises. Boy, it'd be really nice to if if we're not going to get if we're not going to get any iron. It would be really nice to get some like tin. At least that way we could make bronze. Let's see, that would be a J. We'll go ahead and have him uh, dig that out. shop we want to build a oh uh furnaces wood furnace and we probably want to end up building a couple of those but i think just for now one will do i uh, will make it out of um we'll make it out of the yellowstone that will be fine and uh let's see is there anything else we want a 
Um. No, I think I think we're good here for now. ahead and mine out this area as well. I don't know what to do with all of this uh, this porcelain. I'm thinking about maybe making a making a stockpile. Maybe we'll quantum stockpile it here. Maybe that's the way we want to go about doing it. Um, let's do that. Let's uh, set up a zone like right here. Oh, we've, well, we've got two. Well, I guess we can go ahead and remove this one. Right, and then do the DBD, and we'll just uh, select all of this calisite or calisite or or the, the stuff that makes porcelain. That's what we'll call it, and that will get dumped into that quantum stockpile, and we won't have to look at it anymore. It'll be out of the way. We got a lot of it up here. All right, and we have any? Oh, we've got it like in the dining hall. some over here in this office and I think that's good for now Another stone, stone, stone stockpile. We will save this for metal ore. Was it? Is malachite right? Yep. Slowly getting organized. Um, build a depot because uh, that stupid wear beast blew it up. Um, let's see. Let's make it out of... We've got these blocks. I don't know where they came from. Let's go ahead and build a nice big Orthoclass Yellow Trade Depot. That sounds like a good deal. Uh, we are running out of space. Uh, let's go to the Carpenter. Add a new task. Build a bin or three. Blocks fit in bins, too. That's another good advantage to having blocks as opposed to just uh, using the stone. All right. Do we have this taken care of? We do. I want to set up um, a... Another stockpile for gems. And maybe just like that much. They can be stored in bins, so um, we actually don't need even close to that much. Uh, we don't want the cut ones. We just want the rough gems to go there. And that'll get a lot of those picked up. And uh, let's go ahead and make a couple more bins. Now, is there a setting I can set for a workshop with... Um, yeah, with a profile.
general work orders cannot task this shop. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, UM Q new work order uh, rock door. Let's do 30 those and Q new order rock cabinet. No coffer rock coffer. Let's do 30 of those as well. And if I read that correctly, the work orders will go to this workshop and not this one. Let's just hope that's what that means. I have to wait for a chunk to uh, get, get all the paperwork done on that work order to get it working. But uh, hopefully that is exactly what it'll do. That will make a big difference. Rock, rock blocks and rock doors and rock coffers. Excellent. Basically, I don't want the doors and the coffers to be made from the uh, blocks we are using to um, to make the wall, to make the blocks. All right, um, so... I want to make, I want to make some more, make some more bedrooms, I guess. Uh, well, I may, I may plan those out in between episodes because we want to get some more. Uh, maybe we could do some like, uh, I don't know, exploratory mining. Let's uh, go ahead and take you down. No, that's not what I wanted. I want a D I, not just I. Go down a little bit, uh, maybe that far, and uh, we'll just uh, see what we can see. Might be some more interesting mineral oils we run into. We got the butcher shop? Yes, we do. Uh, butcher a dead animal. I don't know if that horse is, like, gone. Just a horse skeleton. I don't know if we can butcher a skeleton for the bones. I guess we'll find out. Nope. We don't. We can't. Well, it was worth a shot. All right. We do have a number of bins and beds and all sorts of things down here. Might as well go ahead and place some of them, right? Um, B, B. Uh, let's do it uh, this way. And that is all of our beds. What's being hauled? Malachite's being hauled up there. Copper ore. We do have a box of gems, and some of those are getting cleaned up. You guys, come on down. Yeah, you did. Oh, look at this. We got another flux stone. We got some. We got some marble down here. That is actually pretty excellent. see any other exposed minerals just that um, nickel slash zinc I don't remember what it is and silver basically just copper ore over here 
Did this wood burner get built? We probably don't have um, we probably don't have anybody assigned to that task, so it's not going to get built. Making masterpiece beds, which is nice. That's going to make some dwarf happy. Figure I'll go ahead and furnish this office here. We really don't have anybody to put here. But we can go ahead and set it up. We have some more beds, so we'll go ahead and place them down here. Oh, that's off. is all of the beds placed. Struck bed 30 has been completed. Okay, that is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we should be able to place one more. Starting to fill up on doors and coffers and things. Might as well go ahead and place some of those uh, doors. All right, that's all of the doors. And um, let's see, build um, coffer. Coffer is. A like container is that what it's called? I never can't remember how to do this. Wanting to say in, no, that's burial receptacle. Cabinet container H, and we put that right there. And we have a bag, so we have to be careful not to do the bag. Offer. Offer. And coffer. Next one's a bag. We don't want that. All right. All right. Well, I think we've placed all we could place. Uh, we are getting some blocks up here, which is good. We probably want to start thinking about building. Uh, problem is that we don't have a lot of stone to build with. Boy, we should have probably built it out of line. I didn't know we had marble down here. That is another flux stone. So, you know, we could build build marble walls. Uh, but we've got a lot of slate and stuff down here. I just, we don't have a lot of reason to dig all this stuff out. Uh, but we will. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.